beautiful world i'm back with another new york city vlog i've posted part one a few months ago so this one's just going to be a continuation of that video i've thrown in some random clips from last summer to show you around new york city i was still shy about vlogging in public so voiceovers will do for now on our second day in new york city our first stop was Junior's Cheesecake. It was my first time to try it and they were absolutely divine. Next up was the Rockefeller Center. Not too many tourists that day so it was alright. Hello Philippines, I miss you already. <laughs> Can't pass by 5th Avenue without saying your prayers at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Next up, MoMA. Yay, Van Gogh, finally! So after MoMA, we decided to have Halal Guys for dinner before we get on a bus back to Jersey. What are we having, Migo? Oh, New York's best. Hi, look where we are. We're in the middle of bustling New York City. And that's it for day two. Starting the day right with hot dogs and fries. So let me just take you to some of our favorite spots in Central Park. Seven. Starting off with Strawberry Fields, which is a space dedicated to the late John Lennon. Ah, 
life still can become. Know that I will often think about them. My highway, I love you. Our next fake spot is Cherry Hill with a gorgeous view of the lake and the boat bridge. Welcome to Bethesda Fountain and Terrace. It has been featured so many times in movies and TV shows. And for Gossip Pearl fans out there, you know you love this. Alright, moving on. Another iconic spot in Central Park is the mall, aka the Literary Walk. And last for today is the Little Mickey spot, according to Ken. And his favorite too, the Umpire Rock. And that's it for day three. See you tomorrow.